continuing coverage this afternoon of the investigation into the death of 13 year old Madeline Soto. Investigators with Kissimmee Police say they're continuing to actively investigate the case. Yeah, new documents now show the prime suspect, Stephen Stearns, may have been sexually abusing her for years. It also rounds Stearns' cell phone and the evidence detectives found that led to his arrest. News Six's Ezzy Castro has more on what investigators are saying about the case. Newly released court documents revealing more details in the case surrounding 13-year-old Madeline Soto. Investigators say her mother's boyfriend, Stephen Stearns, is accused of sexually abusing the teen for years. They say Stearns tried to reset his cell phone the day Madeline was reported missing, but detectives were still able to recover what they say are sexual pictures and videos dating back to 2022, when Madeline was just 11 years old. The document reads, Upon reviewing the contents of Stephen's phone, several images and videos were located which depict the missing juvenile. Last week, Orange County investigators revealed they had evidence Madeline was in Stern's car and already dead, days before she was found off Hickory Tree Road near St. Cloud. Right here is a growing memorial for Madeline in the area where her body was found last Friday. People writing messages that read, we will fight for you, Maddie. At this point, Stearns has not been charged in Madeline's death, but Kissimmee police released a statement this morning that reads in part, our detectives and forensic unit are working tirelessly to uncover the truth behind this heartbreaking incident. At this time, we are unable to release any further information as this remains an active investigation. In Kissimmee, Ezzy Castro, getting results, New 6.